What's up everyone, it's Rick here with utvsource.com and uh, I wanna show you a customer's car we just finished up. Pretty cool car, let's get into it. So this customer hit us up on email and requested that we pick up his car at the local dealership and I was like, well, that's fine, we can do that. Uh, he asked me what I thought about it and where the build was gonna go. I asked him his budget and we built the car accordingly. So it was a 2019 Turbo S Velocity model. So this came with the Walker Evans shocks, not the dynamic ride control. It's a hyper silver in color. And uh, basically I asked him a few things, what his favorite color was, where is he gonna ride, how tall he is, how old he is, and what's his experience. So this is his first side-by-side. -side. He actually owns another pre-runner truck. This is his first side-by-side. -side. So obviously his favorite color is blue. Well, the Velocity S comes with red springs. So the first thing I did was we changed it to black. And we also changed his kit out. So you may notice a few things right off the bat. You know, it's got black coilovers now. It has a machined spring cup versus the cast aluminum spring cup that seems to fail. This is really nice. Not a lot of people are gonna notice this. We also upgraded the customer to a Fabworks TT spec suspension system. Um, basically, it doesn't change the overall width, but it's all chrome ollie, it's all TIG welded. The craftsmanship on the uppers and lowers is insane. Insane. It's all uniball now. It's all, it's all built to take some serious abuse and not break. It's powder coated in Illusion Blueberry. And it's just, this is like, it doesn't get any better than that right there. TT spec, meaning trophy truck spec. So this is all the big boy parts on this car. It, it looks amazing. I love it. Another thing we did that you may notice right in the front is we went ahead and put on a Madigan bumper. The customer requested a 10 inch Casey Highlights Flex Series light. These lights come with, with gold rings and we swapped them out for black rings, which is available on the site as well as an option. You can go black, blue, gold, and red. Simple, simple upgrade. So we also powder coated all the bumpers in the skid plate black. Another thing we did on this car, which I think is pretty cool, they come with really nice tires from the get-go, a 32 inch tire. Well, the customer wanted to upgrade to a 33 inch tire. So we went with the Kanadi Terra Master tires. It's a 33 by 10 by 15 asymmetrical tire, meaning it has a side A and a side B. Side A is for soft terrain, side B is for hard terrain. Really great tire, I tested these tires out. I love them, they're awesome. It's a perfect size for this car. So when we got into the wheels on this car, I asked him, you know, do you wanna be changing out bead locks? Or do you not wanna deal with that mess? And his response was, I don't wanna deal with that stuff. Okay, so we went with the 409 bead grip method wheel. It eliminates the need for beadlock rings. It has an inner lip. It's a reverse mount. It looks awesome, like a little mini rally wheel. Powder coated in black. This wheel with this tire combo, you can air down and no need for beadlock rings. So we can put paddles on these, this setup if we need to. But he said he's gonna ride in the desert, so we built the car according to those specifications. So another one of those major upgrades we did on this car was the cage. This cage is rad. This is a rad cage. This is a Fabworks built whoop nut model. And there's a lot of options to this cage. So when I asked him, what do you want to do on the cage? Do you want light bars? Do you want front windshields? Do you want window nets? What do you want? And he said, I want it all. I want, I want a dope cage. Okay, simple enough. This cage has a removable front window, meaning there's just a few button head screws, pops right off, it's out if he doesn't want it. it has a front balance, a windbreaker, 
if the window's out, this stays. It's also removable on Zeus, Zeus tabs or nuts, nut Zeus's, Allen head. These are all anodized black as well. Everything's powder coated black. He added lights during the build. So this thing evolved. He's like, oh, I want to do this now. I want to do that. Okay, we can do that. Fabworks, Thad over there, designed this really trick bracket that goes into the cage and it still is hidden by the panel for the A-pillar lights, which is again another set of Flex Series. We did a color change on the rings. Looks bitchin'. So there's a couple things you're gonna notice right off the bat on this cage. I'm gonna close the door. There's no ugly point coming off this cage. The doors are really nice. This is one piece. The door itself is awesome. You can, you can actually put some weight on this door and hang on this door. It's not gonna fold like a factory door. It's got this beautiful sheet metal work on it, powder coated black. Great cage, super safe cage. A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, and then back into the bed. He's gonna be taking his nephew or his family members that are a lot younger and uh, they're gonna be driving this car. So it goes back to the safety. He opted for the window nets. I think this is great. It's really cool and it's, it's incorporated into the cage. We'll get into it right here. There's a, uh, on the cage, there's a rubber bump. It keeps it so the net's not flexing around. You reach in, machined hardware. Very nice hardware. Really cool. If you don't like the window net, you take it off. It's removable. So if he wants to go racing, he can race as well. Put the window net back in. Lightweight, great construction, overall great looks. So another part of the safety aspect of this car, we did a custom set of PRP suspension seats. This is the GTSE model. The GTSE model has a non-removable cushion. The GT3 model would have a removable cushion. Everything is paracord, suspension seat, really nice. I went with a tweed on this because there's no charge for upgrade on your custom seats. We did black vinyl, blue vinyl, tweed with blue stitching. Great seat, great seat. Super comfortable, more containment, way better than the factory. We also went with a set of 4.2 auto buckle, easy adjust harnesses. Similar to what would come on the car factory, except for a better padding. More, there's just more comfort in this. It has a sternum strap. It's auto buckle. And what's really cool is this 4.2 driver side comes with the equipped factory plug-in for the speed control from PRP seats. This is awesome. Great upgrade, super safe. You might be going, oh God, you don't really need to do seats. Well, here you go. Custom seats allow pass-throughs. So in the event he rolls or wrecks, the harnesses aren't gonna slide off his shoulders. They physically can't. Plus there's a sternum, sternum strap. This is really safe, really, really safe. We also went ahead and, and uh, upgraded him to a steel base over the factory plastic base, which has a tendency to blow out and crack. You'll notice inside aftermarket steering wheel. This is an assault steering wheel. We color matched it in blue and a black overlay. What's really cool is you can order up any underplate that you like to match your vehicle. This is pretty cool. It also came, we did the assault hub and we did a quick release on this. This is a push to talk system. So the customer wanted communications. We went ahead with the 696 Bluetooth system from Rugged Radios and we went with the car to car communications. So he can talk to his buddies in the car ahead of him or the cars behind him. They can communicate. They can communicate driver to passenger. We also went ahead and did this really nice bracket from rugged radios so they just plug in right here they're not just floating around banging around in the cage they're locked in super simple super easy really cool system i have them in my cars most people that i run with you gotta have them. that's just how we communicate so he wanted that right off the bat we went for it boom done 
you may notice these hoses. Well, he's going to be in the desert. So he asked, how much dust am I going to eat? Well, you got a windshield. You, you, you'll, you'll be okay. It's not going to be too bad. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to eat dirt. California. He's a California resident. He's got to wear a helmet. Regardless, where you ride, you got to wear a helmet. So, we have Parker Pumpers installed. This is their new hose. It's pretty cool. Meaning he's not going to be restricted. If he moves his head forward, this is going to pull with his head. It's not going to bind up. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little upgrade with the Parker Pumper system. It is a two-person system. High-speed fan. Comes in carbon fiber and billet machine. You can order new filters as they wear out. He also opted for a speed control. So he can control how much airflow comes into his helmet. Some people are very sensitive to their eyes and he wanted to control that. So we have a variable air speed control system that you can turn on and off and adjust right there below the radios. Want to see how easy it is to put the nets back on? Pretty simple. This is your pull tab for your door. It's a steel frame. That's it. So the customer wanted more lights. He called me, hey Rick, I saw you guys' promo deal. I want a Pro 6. All right, so in all Fabworks cages, they come equipped with welded in, let's say, bungs. And a bracket comes with all the cages. So, we added a Pro 6. Got a Casey Highlights Pro 6 bar up there. Now that bar can be straight as it is now, or you can radius that bar. Awesome light. He's got more than enough light on this car. He's dialed, he's good to go. Something else we did was we eliminated the factory I, I guess it's called the frog skin. And it's this really nice CNC cut, laser cut parts, color matched blue. Really cool. It's riveted in. It will not be removable unless you drill the rivets out, but you do not need to service anything in there. Let's take a look at the rear suspension. We did talk about earlier about the, the TT spec suspension system. So on this car, he went with the TT spec rear trailing arm. It's internally gusseted, it's boxed, and it's a pocketed arm just like you would see on a pre-runner or a trophy truck. Again, you'll notice the billet machined uh, lower rod end on that shock. So it sets down deeper in the pocket, meaning this is the strongest system you can do on this car. The fabrication on this car is insane. It's beautiful. Again, it's powder coated in that beautiful blueberry illusion. And on top of that, look at these radius rods. Machined radius rods with FK hardware. It doesn't get any beefier than that. That's about as beefy as you can get. Pretty insane. The customer didn't want to make any aftermarket performance modifications on this car. That's fine. Let them drive it. I encourage them. Go drive it. If you want to add to it, you can. What's really cool about the Polaris over the Can-Am, in my opinion, and I don't own a Polaris, is the bed. So the Fabworks whoop nut cage you have options to add a spare tire carrier. We opted to do that. There you go. You got all your cargo still there. It comes with these great struts. It's quick pin release. It comes with this great tire strap, Y-strap system. Also in the back, we, the customer decided he wanted a rear wing. So it's one of those options on the whoop nut cage and uh, he went ahead and Took advantage of one of the promos and, and ordered up a Casey Highlights rear chase light bar. So he's got his brake lights, flashing ambers, and rear lights, and we can strobe it and control all the lights. Which brings us to one more thing the customer decided to add. Up top, we have a Spod 4x4 systems. It's a very nice system. And he has his bumper lights windshield lights, roof lights, backup lights, dust light, work light. You hit it twice and everything can strobe for him as well. 
the system is actually mounted down here and uh, we had this car professionally wired by Eric at Hardwired Performance so it's got this really nice spec harness so it's one harness laid into everything that disconnects and it's all in these really nice connectors it, it allows the customer if one of these lights breaks because things do break he can simply unplug it unbolt it send it in for its warranty which is really cool really cool for the end user to be able to do that and not have to start cutting on things so all in all on the inside we kept it fairly fairly mild you know but we did add a really nice geyser shift knob black machine really cool car really really cool car I think it turned out amazing the customer has not seen this car there's a few things that I would still like to continue to do on the car but I think we're gonna let that be for the customer to have some fun on the website do some shopping on his own and uh, learn his own car so all in all this is a great example of a UTV sourced build. We're going to deliver this car tomorrow to Mike. I, I hope he's going to be excited. I know he's going to go rip on it the first day. This car out of the box was a great car. This car now is a badass little machine and it looks amazing. So all in all, he's got the suspension, the safety, the cage, the seats, the harnesses, the communications, the lighting. He's ready to go conquer the desert and have a one hell of a trip so pretty excited about giving this car to him tomorrow pretty excited about the other cars we're building right now more on that later continue to follow us on YouTube at UTV source go on the website at utvsource.com check out the blogs we've got other builds on there that you can use as examples to possibly putting those parts on your cars follow our stories on Instagram at UTV source that's where the bangers happen Keep checking back in with us. If you have questions, feel free to email us, rick at UTV source or matt at UTV source. We'll get right back to you. We're here for you guys, you're our customers. And at the end of the day, all we really wanna do is help you build your car and make sure you get the best parts from the best company, from the best website. So we'll see you guys out there.